You have such an interesting way of reading from the book that I, I wonder if, as you're writing, are you going back to read aloud? I read aloud continually. I do not go on to the next sentence until the preceding one is perfect down to the syllable. Mm -hmm. I get 50 pages ahead. I rewrite assiduously. I write by hand. I send 50 pages to my typist. I correct her typos. I redline it in ink. But then when, it, when those pages come back to you, are you reading it aloud again for the sound of over the language? Over and over and over and over again. So, so tell me what you want to hear when you're reading this. When do you know it's right you know, from the ear? I want the perfect overlay of theme, moral content, style, uh -huh. outrageousness, import, spirituality, characterization, mise en scene. It has to be dense. It has to say a great deal. It has to sound perfect to my ear okay. before I let it go. So you are looking for the sound of a kind of rhythm. Like I said, I felt like when Joan came into the book, the feel of the language, the sound of the rhythm felt like it changed. You're, you're, you're listening for that yourself as you're reading. This is the best interview of this book tour. I'm 10 days out. Erica's reading the book now. Erica said the only people who will, she's two thirds of the way through, who will get this book are women. Really? Yeah. That Eric you got is a it. sharp one. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to marry her big, tall, good looking, rangy ass. <laughs> Language. As Language. soon as she divorces her husband. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>